On Monday, March 18th, 2024, I attended the contempt hearing for Richard Allen's attorneys, Andrew Baldwin and Brad Rossi. They were represented by attorney David Hennessy, and that happened at the Allen Superior Court in Fort Wayne, Indiana. What you are about to hear and see are my notes as taken during the testimony of Sergeant Jerry Holman of the Indiana State Police. Please note, this is not a transcript. Prosecuting attorney Nick McClellan called Sergeant Jerry Holman from the Indiana State Police to the stand. McClellan, in the beginning of October 2023, what happened? Holman, I received information from Becky Patty that crime scene photos were being leaked. Murder sheets received five pictures and described them. The defense created a picture, a side-by-side. -side. The only time that I had seen it previously was in my deposition with the defense. McClelland, did you speak to Mark Cohen? Hennessy, objection, hearsay. Judge Gall, overruled. Holman, screenshots, murder sheets, received from Fortson to Cohen and pictures that Cohen had sent them. Some of them were crime scene photos. Holman knew the side-by-side -side photo came from the defense because private parts had two circles and one rectangle, and ISP uses only rectangles to block them out. McClelland, enter exhibit number five, group of pictures from murder sheets, admit and seal. Hennessy, wants to see exhibit number five, but does not want to be accused of contempt. McClelland walks over and hands Hennessy exhibit number five, and he reviews them. No objection. Holman, a portion of the pictures law enforcement did not create, the side-by-side -side circles and rectangles, he recognized from deposition with the defense, notified McClelland, scheduled a time to meet with murder sheets. These were screenshots of messages between Cohen and Fortson. There were Facebook pictures between Cohen and Fortson as well. McClellan, enter exhibit number six, which are screenshots between Fortson and Cohen on Facebook. Hennessy, how many pages did you receive from the murder sheets? Holman, no, I don't remember. Hennessy, objection on hearsay communications cannot be cross-examined. McClellan, it's not hearsay. These were continuous leaks and attempts to hide and delete evidence between Fortson and Cohen. Hennessy, Fortson and Cohen are not connected to Baldwin and Rossi. McClelland, what did you do next? Holman, took murder sheet statements, contacted Cohen and interviewed, contacted Rick Snay. Hennessy, objection. McClelland, that's okay. Holman, contacted Kyra De Bruin to determine the source. We did a subpoena for Fortson's Facebook for Fortson's records. Holman did not review. Detective Ben Rector did. McClelland, after you attempted to interview Fortson, who next? Holman, Mitch Westerman, I did some investigation on my own. Hennessy, objection, hearsay. McClelland, it's not hearsay. This was during the course of an investigation. Gull, overruled. Holman, I left a voicemail for Fortson. I had another number and I called it. It was Bob Fortson, his father. He told me that he works at the Air Force Base. I contacted him October 10th, 2023. He gave me very little info. He said that West Westerman had worked for Baldwin. On October 12th, 2024, I received a call from Officer X. I couldn't hear the name properly. He was from Fishers, Indiana Police Department. Fortson had committed suicide. McClelland, what was the chain of how photos leaked? Hennessy, objection. Rumor based on what people said, hearsay. McClelland, this was during an act of investigation. Gall, overruled. Holman, Westerman worked for Baldwin. Westerman worked in the Air Force with Fortson. Information from Baldwin and Fortson was on fa Facebook and Reddit. There was dissemination of the crime scene photos. It involved Fortson and Cohen conversation. Was it an ongoing leak? Hennessy, objection, hearsay based on opinion, not fact. Gall sustained. McClelland, Turco, September 2023.
Why interview him? Holman, there was a deposition of the Purdue professor, a deposition with Baldwin, never technically interviewed, but put into discovery for the defense. Fortson talked about that interview. Hennessy, objection, hearsay. Fortson to Cohen. Holman, within days of the Turco interview in September 2023, Fortson discussed the Turco interview with Cohen. Hennessy, objection, conclusion. Turco discussion between Fortson and Cohen? Holman, yes. Hennessy, dissemination by Westerman in your report of investigation of the leaks? Holman, yes. Hennessy, 272 pages? Holman, yes. The affidavit was filed with this report. Hennessy, so Westerman took photos of stuff, but did not take the actual stuff. Westerman stated Baldwin did not know. Baldwin did not authorize. Prosecutor of Johnson County was involved. Were you seeking charges against Baldwin? Holman, yes. There were none filed. Holman, there were five of the crime scene. A picture under seal, including a side-by-side, Abby, and a picture of an asterisk. Holman, I didn't threaten jail to Fordson. I didn't sign off on the document as it was missing information and had false statements regarding the deposition on March 1st, 2024. Hennessy, you can file to correct mistakes. Holman, there was a lot missing. It wasn't just a transcription issue. There were whole sections missing. Holman didn't sign the correction sheet on the depot. There was way too much wrong. Hennessy, did you say, let me call the judge real quick and reference contempt? Holman, I left the room. I did not call. I was in the military and I was used to chain of command. I gave info to McClelland and he said he would forward the info. Hennessy, you left an impression to Fortson that you were calling the judge. McClelland, objection. Gall sustained. Holman, ask, I asked questions after talking to the prosecutor. He said he was not willing to divulge information without a lawyer. Tahera provided a statement and pictures on a phone which connected to other pictures, ones released from Forts and Cohen. I never found Tyler Carpenter. I was locating the source of the photos, not who had received them. Hennessy, if there was only one source. Holman, that was my belief from the investigation. A lot of people had them, and at that point, nobody was releasing them. Hennessy, talk about contempt. Tyler Carpenter had them, and you did not track that down? Did you know of George Rye? Holman, I knew of him from a separate investigation not relating to the leaks. There was a harassment investigation. Tahara sent to Christina Mack. Hennessy, you don't know how many people have them because you haven't investigated. Holman, correct. Hennessy, maybe they were sent to Fortson, downloaded from Facebook. Could Fortson have other sources? Holman, to my knowledge, no. Hennessy, did Fortson talk about others? Any others? Holman, just Westerman and Baldwin. Fortson told Cohen he was going to Allen County. I tried to interview Westerman. Hennessy, Rector interviewed Baldwin for two hours? Holman, I wasn't there. Hennessy, cell phone records? Holman, yes. Hennessy, discussion with? Holman, I do believe that would be a great question for Detective Rector. Hennessy, don't go anywhere. Hennessy, inaudible. Holman, search party photos. It wasn't a crime scene yet. Hennessy, but were there photos of the girls in sticks? Holman, I never saw those. Photos were taken before it was a crime scene. Gall, search party pictures are not crime scene photos. McClelland, pictures released from the defense. That is what we are here for. And now he wants to, actually, I'm not sure what he wants to do. Gall, how is this relevant? Hennessy, the defense publicly disseminated, but there were other sources of pictures. Gall, please continue. Hennessy, 
That's all I have. McClelland. Ongoing link? Hennessy. Objection. Conversations are hearsay. If they are facts, fine. McClelland. I want to talk about the conversations. Hennessy. Agree. Sources? Objection. Gall. Overrules. McClelland. Withdraw the question, I guess. Presents to Holman Exhibit Number 6 from October 2nd, 2023. The conversation between Fortson and Cohen. Please read it to yourself. Get permission from so-and-so. And I'm going to Franklin next weekend. Fortson to Cohen messages are discussed here. Where is Baldwin's office? In Franklin, next weekend, looking at it all. Phone records of the girls that was newly gotten discovery by the defense. The Purdue professor said the exact opposite of what Holman said. At this point, Baldwin and Hennessy stand up to review exhibit number six, and Baldwin will not look up. And then he stares straight ahead, very angry. McClelland, when was the Turco interview? Holman, September 2023, something. McClelland, Andy, Hennessy, can I come over and look at them? Gull, certainly. Holman describes some messages from Fortson to Cohen. Fortson, I've figured out a way to show you the crime scene without showing you the pictures. And Facebook? You have no worries. And regarding the Barbara McDonald Court TV episode, Fortson stated, let them argue if it's the actual F. I believe the entire message was read in court, but I didn't write it down. Hennessy, not for witness to conclude messages. Gull, sustained. McClelland, Information was being leaked continuously. Did anyone else have it? Turco specifically. What is the purpose of Forts and pushing it out to the public? To get the public's opinion? Taint the jury? Hennessy. How do you know Fortson was credible? Fortson pretended to be a lawyer sitting in Franklin. Do you know that Westerman's girlfriend lives in Franklin? Holman. I did not know that at the time. No, there was no reference to Baldwin regarding the phone records for the girls. Direct contact between Baldwin and Fortson. On Facebook, there was no reference to Baldwin. One time, he says, Andy. Hennessy. Barbara McDonald leaked the Turco report. Did you not investigate? Holman. No. Exhibit number nine is entered. This is the end of of Sergeant Holman's testimony. He will be recalled later. I will release a separate video on that.